Salam's Lot, 2024, directed by Gary Doberman, is a chilling adaptation of Stephen King's classic horror novel that delves into the sinister undercurrents of small-town America. This version aims to capture the essence of the original story while infusing it with modern sensibilities. With a strong cast, including Lewis Pullman and Alfre Woodard, the film presents a fresh take on the vampire horror genre that resonates with today's audiences. The film excels in its portrayal of horror, effectively combining psychological terror with classic supernatural elements. Dauberman creates an unsettling atmosphere that slowly builds tension, drawing viewers into the eerie world of Jerusalem's lot. The cinematography is haunting, featuring shadowy landscapes and claustrophobic interiors that evoke a sense of dread. The film's pacing allows for moments of quiet suspense, effectively heightening the fear factor when the horror does strike. The vampires are depicted with a terrifying realism that makes them feel more grounded and relatable, amplifying the horror of their presence in the seemingly idyllic town. The blend of traditional jump scares and psychological horror elements creates a well-rounded fright experience. The performances in Salem's Lot stand out, with Lewis Pullman as the lead character, Ben Mears, delivering a nuanced portrayal of a writer returning to his hometown, only to confront its dark secrets. Pullman effectively captures Ben's internal struggle as he grapples with his past while facing the town's horrifying realities. Alfre Woodard shines as the no-nonsense character who provides a grounded perspective amidst the chaos, bringing depth to her role. The supporting cast, including Bill Camp and McKenna Grace, contribute strong performances that flesh out the community's dynamics, making the horror feel more impactful. The chemistry among the characters enhances the emotional weight of the story, grounding the supernatural elements in relatable human experiences. At its core, Salem's Lot explores themes of isolation, the nature of evil, and the impact of trauma. The film delves into how fear can fester in a community allowing darkness to take root. As the characters confront the vampire threat, they also grapple with their demons, highlighting the idea that true horror often lies within. This exploration of inner turmoil and the consequences of unresolved trauma resonates strongly with modern audiences who may find parallels in their own lives. The film poses thought-provoking questions about morality and the struggle between good and evil making it more than just a traditional horror flick. The plot follows Ben Mears as he returns to Salem's Lot to write a novel, only to discover that the town is being preyed upon by a malevolent vampire, Kurt Barlow. As residents begin to disappear or succumb to the vampire's influence, Ben teams up with a group of locals to confront the encroaching darkness. The narrative weaves together threads of suspense, character development, and supernatural horror maintaining a brisk pace that keeps viewers engaged. While some may find certain plot elements familiar, the film successfully incorporates fresh twists and deeper character arcs that elevate the story. For contemporary audiences, Salem's Lot resonates as both a nostalgic homage to classic horror and a relevant commentary on modern fears. The film captures the essence of King's original work while making it accessible to a new generation. The exploration of isolation and the hidden darkness in everyday life strikes a chord in today's society, where issues of mental health and community disconnection are increasingly relevant. Moreover, the film's balance of horror, character development, and thematic depth sets it apart from many typical genre offerings. In conclusion, Salam's Lot, 2024, is a compelling and atmospheric horror film that honors its source material while engaging modern audiences with its exploration of fear and human nature. With strong performances, a chilling atmosphere, and a relevant narrative, it successfully breathes new life into a classic tale, making it a must-see for both horror enthusiasts and fans of Stephen King's work.